hi friends so i just wanted to hop on and i wasn't going to but today is thursday and i am going just to sh i'm just going to show you guys my little setup that i have going on because i'm doing photos i will turn you around this video will probably be kind of all over the place i don't even know if i'll upload it but i'll just show you what i have so my coffee but this is my little setup i just took this little photo so i think this is just one of them i have to do obviously multiple pictures for each earring but I like this little setup for my studs. I didn't even realize, um, I just printed these little things on my Glowforge real quick, but like for my hoops and stuff, I have it all. Um, I can't do it with these obviously because they don't go on the hooks, but that is what I'm working with right now. So maybe I'll prop you guys up and you guys can, <laughs> I don't watch, I don't know how. I'll probably time lapse this though, to be honest. So I'm taking a break from photos to pack some orders. I hope I'm in focus because I need my husband's help now to take some photos. But anyway, so I think I'm going to put all this in one video and it's just going to be a little chaotic, but that's okay because it's hard to keep, um, storage that keep track of all my videos if I have like a bunch of videos started so unless I'm not then maybe you have no idea what I'm talking about we'll see so I dropped these necklaces earlier this week so I'm just packing a few of them I can't find bags that aren't plastic. Oh, you know what? Okay. I couldn't remember what I was using before, but now I remember I was using um, like brown craft bags. Okay. I think these are my last ones, so I'm just going to use the rest of these and then I'll go back to doing the craft bags. I'm going to put everything in this little baggie. Get all my shipping stuff out. So just 
business card and a sticker, which I think I need to order more business cards since one, I don't like these, and two, since I'm going to keep my shop open, because I wasn't going to at first, as I've mentioned before, but... And I was going to pull out like my wax sealing, my wax seals and all that, but I think I'll wait till I'm out of like the plastic and all that. So that's just what my, and I wanted to use up these cards, and there's a back, because it has my logo on it. I was going to keep these four and use them for my new shop, but then I'm like, oh no, I have my logo on it so I'll just use it for this and you know what I should probably take a thumbnail pictures I always forget to do this so I thought my thumbnails are that exciting but and I should probably order more boxes too since I'm keeping my shop but I have so many of these bags It's a little wavy. Okay, I need to print another shipping label. So, so I have to see what they, I can't remember. But PayPal has changed who they ship with or who they use, which is awesome because before I couldn't print my shipping labels with it because it would look all pixelated and no matter what I did, it always looked like that. So, but now I can use my label printer for it, which is awesome. Because I was using two separate printers. What she got to do this necklace. This one's one of my favorites. I think future videos besides this one I'll do like vlog how I used to do like weekly vlogs or I guess daily vlogs but sum it up in one video like Monday and then Tuesday type of a thing or maybe that's what this will be I'll start that this video it's Friday, just in case I do do that, but I feel like I'll start that next time. And then there it is all packaged up. This is really big for one of my But I get something that my bows fit in, because my bows, I don't think they fit in the boxes that when I did boxes, so. But I'm not doing bows anymore. At least right now, but probably not again. So. Oh, I didn't take a th the thumbnail. I need to print another label. I guess I can show this 
I really like this one too. I like them all. <laughs> okay, so after, this is the last order I'm gonna pack because I could pack one more. Oh. These were gonna be one of a kind, but um, some of them were claimed twice. So I said I would just go ahead and make make them for the people. <laughs> so I could still pack an order, but I think I'll I think I'll wait. So after this, I'm going to finish taking pictures, and I can talk about that later <laughs> once I get this done. All packaged. So next clip, I will will be of me taking photos or me talking to you guys. I'm not sure, but that's it for this one. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick because I said that I would and I forgot until just now and I need a box. Okay, I'm getting ready to eat lunch. <laughs> so. I finished taking pictures of the bookmarks and the scrunchies and I was going to film it but my husband helped me and I didn't want to have to try and work around two people instead of one. Why is the lighting so weird? So I think for my shop opening i'm just gonna do the scrunchies and the bookmarks for now for this first week and then every week i'll try and add more just because i'm not going to get all the pictures taken and edited and all the listings made before tuesday and i just want to make sure all the listings and everything are good and i don't have any kinks or any major hiccups i know kinks happen but um yeah, so I just want to start with those first and then I'll uh, eventually get to all the other stuff later. And then, um, yeah. And this video is going to be, I already said a little bit of all over the place, but I'm going to, um, maybe I'll film myself making one of these uh, crochet necklaces because I do have to make another one like I mentioned before so maybe I'll add that in this video too and then tomorrow I have two orders that I need to pack so I'll add that in as well so and I think that will just be the end of this video and then I'll start next week's video after that so yeah but I'll hop maybe I'll hop back in well you're here you'll hear from me because later so this is not goodbye for this video but i see you later so see you later <laughs> okay so like i said i needed to make another necklace because someone claimed this one but then someone else wanted one as well so i'm going to do that now i'll be kind of a little tutorial i guess So first I'm going to lightly make a circle just so I have kind of a guideline of where things are going to go. Sometimes I do go over the circle but as long as I, you know, pay attention to how much I go over it, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know where my thread ball is because I know I have these colors already that is okay 
Oh, see, the, these don't have, I don't know the names of those, or the numbers, but there's that one. I just tried to find thread that matched these as best as I could. On this one, you still kind of can, but it kind of just looks how a flower would look, so. So I'm just doing one thread. Tied. And I like to double knot it because linen is kind of loosely woven, I guess is what you would call it. Okay, so I'm going to put this one first. I know it's not going to be exact, but I still like to get it as much, as close as I can. Try and make it go into the petal so it kind of looks how a flower would look. I want to make sure it's tight too because I don't want these to be pulled off or at least do my best so that does not happen since mostly these are going to be worn by little ones so there's that and then just to tie it I usually just do a double knot, but if you want to do more, you can. Okay. And then, I'm going to place it like that and get to this one. one strand again so I kind of want it to overlap a little Oop. it's a little tricky I'm just doing the same thing that I did before. like that I just realized that I have to edit photos tomorrow or this weekend and edit this video this weekend all 
by Tuesday. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. It will be okay though. Okay. And now I do these little pearly bits. So those. And I have like this giant bag of, I guess it's not giant, but all these sequins that I bought. I can't remember what I bought them for, but the, it was something specific. Um, I obviously didn't do it because I don't remember what it was, but... Oh, I did make, um... Oh, my battery's gonna die. I did make mermaid tail embroidery necklaces for a custom, and I used these. And that was cute. So, maybe I'll do that later. Ugh, I'm gonna have to charge my battery for a minute so I can finish this. Okay, so let me battery charge for a couple minutes well 20 minutes so I don't remember what I was talking about probably the sequence but anyway I am going to use oh no oh yes I forgot to grab white from my embroidery box thing that stores my thread I've shown it before but um my camera is sitting on it <laughs> So I thought I would have to take everything apart, but I don't. I've gotten, I've been really lucky with threading these needles. Usually it's hard to thread them, but today it's been pretty good. Okay. So now I'm going to, and I have pearls on either side, so I'm going to let this get in focus. There we go. I'm going to lift up about where I want the pearl to be. Put this little guy on. And then I kind of want to get it down in the same hole that I brought it in. Just so it kind of looks more like that instead of you being able to see the hole. Which isn't a big deal either way. But that's just kind of the goal. A loose goal. do the same thing over here get it close to uh oh okay there we go voila and now I'm going to do oh I guess I did the sequence first after each one but that's okay I'm kind of gonna move this stuff around so my camera doesn't focus so much on it Use all these little fuzzies. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump out some sequins. And then I kind of want the sequins to fan around the bead. Let me get closer. Like that. It just so it kind of looks like. A sequence flower of sorts. And it just barely fits this needle through the sequence. And I'm not going to be super neat with this either. I'm just going to kind of put them wherever I want just as long as they go around. Nope. Oops. I keep dropping them. And 
this is the part that takes the longest when making these. See how it just kind of sits. I will do one more and then I'm going to time time lapse this just because I don't want this video to be forever. Like that. And then I'll keep going. I'll add probably one layer and then another and see what that looks like. So there's that side, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. I just think it's so pretty. I just love how colorful it is. Especially since usually neutral colors um, do the best I've noticed like in the small shop world like this and then I have the one that I packed with the three like beigey ones um just because I, I don't know I get it because they match more outfits and they go with the vibe of more things but every once in a while it's fun to see a pop of color I mean, I like it all the time, but I don't know. This was just really cute and fun to make. Okay, and now I need to do these little um, French knots. I almost forgot what they were called. Which is this color? I thought it was this color, but I wasn't sure. I believe I did one thread again. Ooh, I love it when that happens. Okay, 
so the French knots, I have them in between these flowers. And it looks like I did about three little ones. I have a video on how to do these, but just in case, you just thread it, wrap it. I think I wrapped mine twice, but you can do it once, twice, three times, or you can use more than one thread and then that'll make a bigger flower. And then you just pull. So it looks like that's it's focusing on my thumb. There you go, like a little rose. So I'm gonna make another one. Then one more. Just gonna do Wrap around, wrap around once for that one. So that's what the cluster looks like. I'll probably do variations of wrapping around once and twice. Can you please focus there? And then I'm gonna go over here. a lot of thread to I'll wrap it around the needle. This is what we got so far. I think it's been a while since I've done a tutorial like this. I kind of miss it. For my, like, my Me Made shop, I did one for scrunchies and stuff. And I think I'm still going to keep my YouTube channel name, A Lazy Tuesday, even though I have both shops. And I'll probably continue to film both shops with this one channel. Um, so, I just, I don't want to change it again. <laughs> and I feel like a lazy Tuesday will last longer than Mammy made. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I mostly just don't want to change it. So, I could change it to my name, but I like having my shop as the name. We'll see. No plans as of right now to change it. probably hear my son. Well, maybe not. I said that in my last video, like apologizing for some of the noise, but when I was editing it, I couldn't hear any of it, so. Oh, I didn't pull it up. There we go. I think I'll do more necklaces like this with the crocheted flowers because one, they're easier to make, or at least they're kind of, I don't know if they're faster. They seem faster, but maybe it's just because I'm not used to doing them and it's kind of fun, so it goes by fast. 
but I just think they're unique and cute. And people seem to like them, so. I wonder if the shop I bought them from or the woman that makes them, well, she does have a shop too, but if she can make different shapes, because that would be fun. If I could do like butterflies or clouds or something, I don't know. Okay, when I made this one, I did a single thread, but then I didn't like how thin it was, so I went over each stitch of the green twice. So I'm just going to double up on the thread, and then I can just stitch once. Oh. I keep a damp paper towel next to me. Well, it's behind me right now. So if I ever need to thread something, it's easier to do it with your, when it's a little damp. But I haven't used it because I've been lucky threading it, so it's not, it's kind of dry. <laughs> it still worked, but I didn't think it was going to. Okay, so I've, in between, so I just have it in between these parts. I'm not gonna pull as tight because I kind of want it to fluff up a little. Well, that one I had to pull tight because it was folded weird. Woo! So there it is. You know, I could have made a reel or a TikTok with this, but I always forget about that. I always focus on the YouTube, but I hope that's important. So now all I have to do is wrap it and then put it on a backing. And I'm going to do that off camera. So the next clip you'll see is me packing orders. But I probably won't do that until tomorrow. So, which is Saturday. So, goodbye for now. And if you have any questions on how to make these... Just let me know or if you want to see another variation or anything just let me know goodbye i'm back <laughs> packing the orders that i talked about yesterday so today is saturday which usually i don't film on saturdays but I am. I'm just cutting more of these necklace backings since I will be running out. It's kind of hard to remember. What did I just do? Okay. So 
So I think for this drop, I only have two necklaces left. So this has been my most successful drop so far, as far as the ready, like a ready to, ugh, like a ready to ship drop, which is what I am doing nowadays. So it's pretty good. I have two left and I sold an extra one, so. Technically, I sold, would have one left, but. I had someone ask if I can do a custom necklace, which I said I could, but it would take a week for me to do, because I have these going on, and then my new shop opening. So, and I didn't want to just say no, because I don't like doing that. these left and then I'm going to have to use a bag for the other ones. So this is one of the necklaces that they ordered. And this is a this isn't the one that I made yesterday, but it is the one that I made yesterday. <laughs> if that makes sense. Same design. So like I said, it's Saturday. I am having, after I pack these orders, I'm having an Evy Mama Day. So that will be fun. We haven't gotten to do that in a while. I'm gonna do this cute little cupcake. Um, mostly because of the whole pandemic, but since things are calming down, And my husband is home more, so we can watch the other one. So yeah, it'll be fun. I think we're gonna go do one of those. Here's the other one. I like this one too. I like them all. <laughs> we're gonna go to one of those paint your own pottery places. She really likes crafts and painting and all that stuff. That will be fun, as I do too. I'm gonna do two in this one. So that will be fun, and then we'll probably go to lunch and then come back here. I still have, I uploaded all the photos from my camera that I took for scrunchies and bookmarks, so I just need to edit those photos still. So hopefully I can get that done tonight and the listings ready to go and then I'll edit this video maybe Sunday or Monday oh and I don't do packing slips either I don't maybe I'll start doing packing slips since I'm doing PayPal now and I don't it's harder to find like your order information on PayPal than it is with Etsy. So we will see. I already printed everything for these ones though. So one order done. Another. And then And there's the other one. These are, I should have kept one. I mean, I can make another one. I know how. And I just filmed a tutorial on it. So I could just watch how to do that. Which I've had to do before. Which it's kind of nice that I have this. But I'll forget like what stencil I used for certain things. Or the colors. Or um, 
all that stuff. But so I'll have to look at a tutorial. I'm gonna try and see if this little baggie will work. I wish I had, see I think I'll start doing the wax seal stamps now, but I don't have the bags. Yeah. Or should I do this in the back? I think this is backwards. I don't know how I want my packaging to look. My kids have stolen all my washi tape besides this one. <laughs> We can make this cute. My packaging is so different each time. <laughs> well, this video, they're all the same, so at least there's that. And then what's fun is when uh, people um, share their package openings on Instagram and uh, they I get to see them because usually they tag me. <laughs> it's different packaging each time. So, I mean, it's kind of fun, I think. Just do two stickers in this one. Two. I mean, that's kind of cute. I wish I had boxes. It just seems like such a waste since it only takes up that much space. But maybe I'll buy boxes later for the next drop. I do have one more package, but I'm waiting um, for them to pay and then I'll package that. So I think this might be the end of my video. Actually, I kind of want to show since I'm putting it got all blurry. <laughs> so I am editing photos and this is what this is the first one I've done. So here's a before, after, it looks better on the camera, <laughs> which is kind of sad, but yep, so that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, I think. So I had a few more clips of me editing the photos, but my video is already really long, so I had to cut them out, and I don't have an outro to this video so that's what this is going to be i just want to thank you guys so much for watching if you stuck around to the very end of this video and even if you didn't thank you guys so much and don't forget my shop opens tomorrow at 10 a.m central standard time i'll have the link for it below bye